I was battling the thoughts yes and no throughout the, I would say the whole experience. Me and AD, you know, one moment will be maybe not at our highest point, the next minute will be at our high point. I would say when she came down the altar and I saw how beautiful she looked and I looked at her family. How I'm looking, I'm looking good? You look amazing. Look at my husband. <laughs> Let's go. I just think for me, I just started questioning myself. Am I the guy that is made to be a husband? And I think that pessimism really kind of like led me down a straight to say the answer is no, but I always wanted to say yes. Do you take Amber to live together in a union of marriage? AD, I love you. I don't think it's responsible for me to say I do. I wouldn't say I was too surprised when Clay said no. I kind of figured there was a possibility, a small possibility. Unfortunately, like, I'm not okay with just being, like, a long-term fiancé. I don't think I could, like, continue to, like, date you after. Mm. If it's, um... If it's a no. Yeah. Oof. That's a lot. Would I be open to rekindling a relationship with Clay? Probably not. Like, not an intimate relationship. We've built a good friendship over the past few months, and I think that's where it should remain. Today, I am single and loving it. As a man, I have to be able to lead and, and give direction. I would say that this is the one time where it's like, relationships is not something I'm good at leading. Mm -hmm. And that's why I've been asking for your assistance of like, hey, like, help me out. I'm not confident that I could be a husband. I'm a guy that has to lead on confidence. During the season, a lot of people felt as though that I joined the show for the wrong reason because I did bring up, you know, the physical uh, features and how I'm attracted to that. My worst fear is we fall in love. We have this beautiful connection. It's like, you know, we do the reveal and it's like, oh, wow. Like, we never really talked about physical. And like, that is important to me. I was expressing some of my fears in the pods and honestly it was an authentic and real answer that I truly felt was a fear of mine. Did it come off wrong? Yes. But in terms of the intention of the question, I was really just having a conversation with AD and letting her know some of my fears and how I really came into this process, really looking for the physical. And AD really taught me how to build an emotional connection. Uh, so I think that biggest misconception is I came here for the wrong reasons. There's no way I'm gonna find my fiance on the other side without seeing her physically. Yeah. And AD, I shot myself in the mouth so many times, baby. I said, girl, if you don't show me what you look like, there ain't no way I'm proposing. In terms of my decision at the altar, in hindsight, I do regret my decision. At the moment, I thought it was the right decision because I did choose the easy route of what I was comfortable with. Now in hindsight, with me doing therapy and me actually seeing the relationship and how AD poured into me, I definitely feel as though I made a mistake. I just feel like I learned so much about myself, AD, and it kind of got scary. At the end of the day, it's not so often where you actually go to an altar and then to hear no and hear rejection, I can never tell someone what to do after they get rejected. So I'm not surprised of AD's reaction and not wanting to continue our relationship. However, you know, I still wanted to let her know that my me saying no had nothing to do with her. It was all internal and what I was battling through. It was a game time decision. Like I thought about everything, AD. Like I really was struggling with the, everything this whole this whole time. It's no world that exists where I don't understand that, Clay. My relationship status today is I'm single. Um, honestly, I just been trying to just get myself corrected. Uh, I had a lot of trauma that I dealt with with my family. So just meeting with my therapist and honestly just giving myself grace and loving myself and making sure that I understand that I am deserving of love. That's pretty much what I've been focusing on now. Your dad and I were married for almost 24 years. You do not get to this point and think that you need to be forced with the I do. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, it's what's in here. And if you're not 100% sure here, don't ever cross that line. I definitely could see a future with us both. Um, but only time can tell. At the end of the day, when you go through a traumatic situation like uh, getting a no at the altar. There's no way I could like dictate how she should move. All I know is I just want to show up for her and make sure my actions speak louder than my words. She's honestly loving my life. Me and AD are great. We've hung out a couple times. She knows my family. She actually came over for Thanksgiving. We have a great relationship and I'm honestly looking forward to building our relationship and seeing where it could go.